Okay, it's that time. Here we go. We're going to go and see the master bedroom closet. I was holding off because it's not really as pristine as I'd like, but it's only fair that I show it to you because I've shown every other place of my home, every other room, and I'll try not to wiggle and waggle like is my norm. So let me step back and give you a little bit of a full view. It's not that extensive. It's like a galley closet, I like to call it. I'll show you the floor and the doors in reference to see the footage. I really don't know the square footage. It's not huge, but we've maximized everything on our own. It's all custom. There's nothing from California closets here because your girl can't afford that. So I have to be creative. So we mixed and match a little bit of Ikea and the Billy bookcase here. If you see, that's one section of it. Okay. The clothes and shirts. And that's the drawer. No, that's not the Billy bookcase. I'm, I'm wrong. That's I don't know what you call that. It's their standard um, closet unit. And you could modify. You see where I have the basket and drawers. You could put any combination of drawers and baskets, whatever have you. But that's the Ikea. That's the main unit we started with. And it's junked up to the top. You see I have guests bedroom pillow in there and shoes along the top because I'm going right to the ceiling and then here is where I say mix and match so here you see all my shoe bins these are really I need to change these they're horrible they say hefty and they're plastic bins but you know what they're bigger than um, the dollar store shoe buckets and they're like maybe four bucks a piece still cheaper than hold everything or that store that sells um, everything closets or whatever have you and Vinny built these to match the Ikea unit see they they coincide side by side okay and this to me is a disarray I know it's driving me crazy I have to get rid of some shoes or do something because I like a single file neat shoe display I just haven't had time to go through them see Vinny's even him. We're going to be taking some to New York. We have to. He has way too much full sneakers and shoes here. And he's not wearing them. He's not utilizing them. And if we're going to be in New York several years until December, he'll get to use them. Same for me. I'm going to take anything fallish to New York. Okay. Here's that. And you got to get creative. That's the exit door. It's an emergency door out of our closet. I love that. In Pompano, uh, in the condominium we have, they do that. And I think that's awesome because if there were, God forbid, a fire or something, uh, and we couldn't get out of the bedroom because it was generated from the kitchen or the dining room or whatever have you, we can make a quick escape here. And I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, now let me come in here and try to show you. I have a matching unit like Vinny on my side all the way to the ceiling and you see I put shoe boxes up there too try to fit in as much as I can and we go a little bit slower for you guys because this is my pride and joy I pride myself on trying to keep it neat it's not easy it really isn't I don't have I no, I'm not gonna lie I do, I do strive to keep them in a perfect fold every day and these are all for example tank tops they go there these are all shorts in white these are all khaki and others and up here a white denim pants and khaki white and here is a uh, denim with uh, I don't know a random pair of white there I don't know why I put them there and there's white jeans and here's some more khaki and white capris try to be organized and then here I don't have a lot of clothes I'm trying to condense because I do have two homes and I go shuffle from Florida to New York so I really don't want to be one of those old ladies that have everything all over the place too much the woman we bought this condo from had this fill to the gills and she left it I had to clear it out because she went back to her home in Michigan where she had a lake house and she had um, I'm sure extensive clothing there as well I mean a 45 year collection so I don't want to get to that point ever in my life so what I'm doing is I'm um, just keeping classic pieces, pieces that I'll wear forever, summer, you know, things like that. And here, utilizing space on the wall, I put some uh, little, um, oh, what's the name of those, you know, the super 
holders um, that hook things on and put some bags there okay now here I had to um, I have my jewelry crates on the bottom there and I put denim on top of that that's my blue denim okay and that's a cover to something there and here's some bags and shelves for bags all the way up and then you go over and there's more and this is my uh, favorite this is a unit that we bought it's supposed to be I think a kitchen cupboard from Lowe's for food pantry or something or other but here's my dirty shame to fame cluttered pushed all in there get in there got everything all the way down to the bottom <laughs> okay see everybody has a closet secret this is my sloppy mess and I really shouldn't be shown on camera, but you got to keep it real. I'm just like everybody else, dying for more closet space to hide my shit. All right, there you go. But that was really cool, and it goes between the IKEA unit and some regular shelves Vinny made, and it suits us. The the door is a nice touch. It was like a hundred and fifty dollar unit from Lowe's in their closet or pantry area, so that's pretty cool. So you got to modify, and you got to invent and create and figure out your own configuration i think this whole closet i don't know if i had to guess to do it the way we did custom for our own needs under 500 dollars, it certainly beats having california closets come in here and you know rob us or overcharge us by thousands not necessary and it's so much more fun doing yourself you get to customize it you get to say i want my shoes here and i want his clothes there and blah 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 so there's our closet. I hope you like it and I'm glad to show it. Bye.